good morning from here in Yorkshire. You can probably see behind me, it's an absolutely glorious day. The sky is a blue, there's not a cloud in sight. I think it's going to be another warm one. We've had no rain overnight, so tonight we'll have to water the plants yet again. They eat so much water in this weather, so we'll have to keep an eye on those, don't any plants wilting. Otherwise, you'll not get a good crop. These are my peas, and today we're doing a special Inside the Grain Frame, all about peas. Join me, won't you, as we go inside the grain frame. See you soon. Well, look at that. Looking back in time, these are when the peas first started to come out of the ground. It's incredible, isn't it? We've talked about it, how things are growing. And uh, remember these? I'll show a picture close up. Can you see that there? This is a pea. And uh, well, we bought this, and uh, there must be still in here, I don't know, 100 peas still. We must have got a fortune in peas. And we started planting those, do you remember, early on? And uh, then they went on to grow like this. And we'll show a cut away of this. And this is showing the roots and the, how, how the plants progress. And then suddenly, we end up with uh, well, plants like these, look. These now need planting out. Look at how long they are. And remember, these were just planted in my, uh, my tray. Isn't that exciting? So they're, they're carrying on to grow. And then eventually, they get like these on here. And uh, we're looking out now for the flowers to come. Because once the flowers start to come, we can give them extra feed. And we can get uh, lots of uh, well, lovely peas from them. Isn't it nice, though, to be sat amongst the vegetables? And down at my feet, we've got um, lots of lettuce coming up. I was worried about my lettuce to start with. I thought the frost might have got it, but they haven't. And my turnips have gone absolutely, uh, well, wild. There's masses of them. And, uh, well, parsnips, they may be coming in. I might be able to find them in the rows of, uh, well, weeds. But I think that might be in a couple of weeks to come before we actually see the tops of the parsnips. And then we'll know for sure the potatoes have come back just through the gauze here. Remember we had the frostbite and it almost killed them off. Well, <laughs> they're back with a vengeance. The peas are here. So we've got potatoes we've got in the far distance. We've got those onions I planted, you remember? And next to those we've got cabbages and then we've got um, outside cucumbers and they're not doing too bad. They've started to pick up a bit. Of course, we've got our, our onions out here in sweet corn. We've also got onions in here. So the onions in here now are to transplant out and we'll do that as well. In fact, we'll take the peas out and may leave the onions in here for a few weeks because they'll grow quite happily actually because they grow on the surface. So we'll see how that goes. Well, I hope you have a marvellous day uh, today. It's a beautiful sunny day already. It's starting and it's very early in the morning. We'll see you later on. Bye bye for now. And just before we go, here's a brief look how my sunflowers doing today. <laughs> 